Yugawara Training Center. Masters Matsu is teaching fighting techniques course during the Kyokushinkai Karate Summer Training Session. The Kyokushinkai Karate Central Dojo Summer Training Course is held each year at Yugawara. It's now listed among the enthusiasts' training habits, all of whom wait for it with great anxiety. Thousands of black belts from all over Japan and elsewhere gather here to devote themselves to intensive practice at the heart of a luxuriant forested area with marine fragrances and birds singing in the background. Usually assisted by last year's Japan official champion, Master Sosai Masutatsu Oyama conducts himself the training sessions. Sharing as far as the master's meals, all members come here to absorb the technique and spirit of Kyokushinkai Karate. He is good, isn't he? All right, go ahead. Try and see this movement. You can go ahead, hell for leather, and no favors. Having taken over the lead of Kyokushinkai Karate after Master Oyama's sudden death on the 26th of April 1994, Shokei Matsui carries on the tradition by holding the summer training session at Yugawara, assisted this time by Hajime Kazumi, winner of the 25th Kyokushinkai Karate National Contest. And all his followers were deeply affected by their master's sudden death, and the air trembles with their kiai hatred in unison. Et l'air vibre de leur kiai puissant poussé à l'unisson. With the same vigor, 
the followers applied themselves to carrying out the karate striking movements, as well as, with all their power, the wall of their lightning kicks inherent to this martial art. With perhaps the late old master's gaze hovering over them, who seems to be kindly winking at them from the vault of heaven where he now abides. Under the careful watch of Master Matsui, who guides him under every effort and makes him benefit from his experience, young Kazumi trains uninterruptedly in the hope of winning the grand international title during the championships that will bring him together with fearsome fighters from all countries. You have to stand ready, never stiff, always on your guard, ready to react to the slightest movement from your imaginary opponents. Kazumi possesses his own kicking technique that will enable him to achieve brilliant results in Kumite. Whatever the power of his opponents, his remarkably supple dodges work wonders, allowing him to fight back with a burst of attacks that brings down the best trains of his opponents. Kazumi is currently putting the finishing touches to his technical preparation. Don't look as though you're always eluding the same attacks. Don't forget that the opponent is unpredictable. You must be able to dodge anything that comes. So be supple and ready in your guard. Adapt yourself to the circumstances, so long distances, short distances, to opponents that are tall, healthy, small or powerful. Train yourself to move around easily, even if everything you're working on now doesn't necessarily find its place in a competition. In this shadow fight, you train to predict your opponent's attacks through your own body. You can go along according to what you feel, but don't forget to imagine unforeseen situations at times so as to face up with any possibility. Be very careful. Each time you take the initiative of attacking, there's inevitably an opening that the opponent can use as an opportunity to score and win. You have to be aware of that in order to minimize risks. Well, continue training like mad and I think you'll be all right. Master Matsui, faithful to the teaching of Master Oyama, from whom he has received the technical legacy, is today the worthiest representative of this school, and his infallible technique, which is most convincing, is a perfect example of purity and strength. From simple postures to technical forms of kata, Master Matsui teaches all the aspects of an art of which he has himself experienced the fearsome effectiveness in a great number of fights. From all these movements emanate the power and spirit of this Kyokushinkai form of karate, which he symbolizes wonderfully. You move forward slightly and just when you make contact with your hands, the leg shoots out at one go. Same thing now with a double attack. Dodge, 
Step out of the line, counter-attack with delay. Be very careful when you move forward as you can put yourself in danger. So watch out carefully and then move in. A blow like that is unacceptable in a fight. Everything must take place instantly, the strikes and withdrawal movements, otherwise you're outdone instantly. So, most of all, no powerless strikes. If you're facing a well-trained opponent, you have to react in a lightning manner. All right? When carrying out a sequence and when withdrawing your hands, the leg takes over in direct kicks. Everything must be carried out without the slightest interruption. Here, you must dodge by stepping back, by withdrawing your leg, and then renew the attack each in turn. Come on! Roundhouse kick, inch in turn, in sequences, protect yourself properly in order to absorb the blow. By blocking, you're able to divert the blow and control the situation. You practice starting from the guard stance. By blocking, then you open the movement before fighting back.
You must react instantly, like in a dialogue, where questions and answers follow on from each other. That is essential. Of course, between us, you strike smoothly. Nevertheless, it has to look real. He is doing well. As soon as he blocks an attack, he counterattacks immediately and is always steady in his actions. Be very careful when you make contact not to get kicked in the head. Some Westerners have an stunning reach. Their legs are so long that you barely notice the foot suddenly hitting you in the nose. Be careful with that. You also have people who have a light, supple guard, and when you attack, they withdraw slightly, and in a flash, you find yourself in, in a magary position without having seen anything come. Evaluate the situation carefully, and above all, dodge the blows. You must measure the distance with accuracy. Master Matsui conducts himself the training course at the dojo in Osakusa, where black belts come from all over Japan to train under his rule. That day, it was Kazumi who walked through the doors of the dojo in order to deepen the knowledge he received during the summer training session and especially the famous techniques one must master in order to face up with the gigantic Westerners with stunning reach. Right, your shifting technique must be strengthened with a view to the World Championships. And you must also be supple. Move around a little because sometimes you come across people who are more than six feet tall. They swoop down on you in two or three steps at a great speed so as to outdo you by way of direct kicks. この位置で、Imagine that the opponent runs up to you. With your stance, you can't instantly face up with the situation, and therefore, you are beaten. You have to be able to react spontaneously as soon as you make contact, and also to stand ready to dodge. こういう動きもあるけれども、パッと飛んでくるよね。動きもしてるだと思う。あとやっぱりもっと you have to train to foresee the opponent's action through his breathing rhythm. When he breathes in, there will be a brief moment of stiffness, and there you must immediately score. You must watch out for the slightest weakness, the slightest opening. 
このここにこうストレートにストーンストーンストーンと来る動きは気をつけないどうしてもリーチが長いとこう,こういう形でさ、ね、こういう形でリーチがなくて遠間から相手は十分なリーチなの相手は自分のリーチで入ってくるとするそこに遅れちゃいけないと思ってパッとこう力んで前に出た瞬間なんかでさドーンともらったりガーンともらったりまたドーンともらったりとか、ね、そういうところをこう注意しないといけないというのは相手はさ大事な To do it, you must stand ready, be able to adapt to anything. That's important. Generally speaking, foreign fighters prefer a direct, linear, and massive attack to a light and supple game. Against that, you must absolutely remain supple and, above all, not remain stiff. In Mawashigeri, to the Japanese fighters' lash blows, they prefer weighted kicks that bring down the opponent at once. Juke Mute is a form of training during which you adapt to the situation, so as to fight back one blow straight after the other, accurately and spontaneously. When the opponent attacks, You can either dodge sideways or back away, or quickly anticipate. And there, as soon as he carries out his attack, you move in. Well, at close range, it would be all right. The Japanese manage quite well generally. So the question is, when to break the distance in order to bring the opponent into close contact, where you're most likely to win. And be careful, as in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, fighters whose two heads taller than you will swing his knee across your head without the slightest effort. Be very careful about that. Juke Kumite, a very supple style of free sparring, is different from competition, as here you don't try to bring down the opponent. However, in Kyoko Shinkai Karate, it can quickly take the form of a real fight in which both will have to show inventiveness and strength. ここだったら効かないわけだ。当たっても、余震波当たってもね。で、前に出,出てれば、こうきちっとこう準備して前に出るわけだ。Predicting the distance is essential, as everything takes place according to feelings. If you lose this notion, you're hit, and it's too late. You have to act before being hit. Understood? If you take the blow, it's not good for you. You have to absorb it by dodging backwards a little. You have several possibilities. Either anticipate and carry out the attack, or receive the attack from behind, or even dodge sideways when fighting back. On a kick, you can move in, but as soon as the blow is carried out, otherwise, it's better not to remain on the line. If you let the right moment pass, you get the blow this way, and you're outdone. Of course, these are examples, but it gives you an idea. If you foresee the moment your opponent carries out the attack, you take over the initiative like this, and there, you get the upper end. All this is really a question of a fraction of a second. It changes everything. You have to foresee the action.
Master Matsui instantly reacts to Kazumi's slightest initiative. He leads without the slightest efforts against this karateka, who is considered as one of the best of the young generation. As the action goes on, Matsui continues to advance, increasing the pressure on his young opponent by force of his ki as well as with his stunningly effective technique. Matsui belongs to the line of the greatest karateka. Any opponent has a longer reach than yours, for example, a Westerner. He'll be stronger on a long distance, quick and powerful, so you must dodge unexpectedly, come closer and fight hand to hand. Moreover, you must react to the opponent's slightest move and not remain stiff. Training to react instantly is crucial. If you bear that in mind, you can break the distance by backing away slowly. Master Matsui's pieces of advice are supported by solid experience in fighting. All his movements are ruled not only by feelings experience when the action takes place, but yet to fundamental principles of karate and to the logic of an exceptional technique. Yon Katsumi is particularly receptive to Master Matsui's enlightened advice. You must not let the opponent's actions overwhelm you. You must neither waste time nor let chances slip away. Don't you agree? Right, otherwise, on a technical basis, you're okay. You adapt yourself to the opponent's initiatives and at the slightest opening, you move in. The opponent, when he moves, inevitably reveals his intentions at some stage. It's at this moment that you have to detect a weakness and move in. Francisco Filho, this young Brazilian here, is perhaps on the verge of winning the world title. In any case, Master Matsui is feeling. After the 24th championships, the Japanese Yoshihiro Tamura claimed he had never encountered such a powerful fighter before. During his visit to Japan, Master Matsui took advantage of the occasion and tried out a few Juku meter attacks with him. This is the central dojo. 
With a height of 1 meter 86 and a weight of 95 kilos, Filio has, during the past few years, established himself as a major figure on the scene of karate. During the fifth World Championships, he even managed to beat the great Andy Hug to the point of sending him to hospital on a knockout that has now become legendary. This man's strength left no spectator indifferent. Master Matsui, with his supple and fluid moves, has but just managed to completely disorientate the young Brazilian. Shy and tentative at the beginning, later joins in. Master Matsui rapidly gains a serious advantage and soon leads against the young man, cleverly controlling the distance during the exchange. However, Filho's so personal and atypical kick sometimes reaches Master Matsui's face. Japanese fighters must behave themselves. Andy, Thompson, Mitchell, Ademir, these are the four best foreign karateka of the time, who took part in the fifth championships at that period. In my view, Ademir da Costa was the best. Filio has worked alongside Ademir. Train has his place. In addition, he has a reach that is even longer, giving him advantage over all the others. You expect a Maegiri movement, and all of a sudden, turns around in a Mawashi movement at the last moment. You get hit for sure. Or furthermore, he sleeps in order to gain distance, and swoops down on you in a stunning roundhouse kick without you seeing anything come. He hits you on the side with a side kick without you saying anything come. He attacks, you dodge and move in, but he already outdoes you hand to hand.
Now has come the moment of truth. The six championships will take place in autumn 1995. Master Oyama, during his lifetime, insisted that the karate title remain in the hands of Japanese fighters, that is to say, on the land that saw the birth of karate do. Who could tell whether the Japanese karateka could save the honor and in that be faithful to the memory of their old master? These sixth world championships will also be a test for Matsui, who, through the training dispensed to the young prodigies of Japanese karate, will have to prove himself as the leader of the Kyoku Shinkai school.